As Governor Rumahi of Ebony State threatens to move to the APC if the 2023 presidency is not zoned to the southeast, what is the implication? And the PDP caucus in the House of Representatives says that rule of law be employed in the handling of the ANSAF protesters and promoters. This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladende. Welcome, this is Plus Politics. 2023 is not here yet, but certainly political activities are already heating up. Governor David, David Umahi of the People's Democratic Party PDP has expressed plans to leave behind his party for the All Progressive Congress, APC. According to reports, the governor has based his planned defection on the agreement with the APC that the 2023 presidential candidate of the party would be zoned to the Southeast. He claims that the PDP had been unfair to the Southeast since 1999, as it had deliberately refused to zone the presidential ticket of the party to the zone. Joining us to discuss this is a member of the PDP Board of Trustees, Chief Olabode George, who joins us from London, UK. Uh, United Kingdom. Good evening, Chief Volabody Judge. My pleasure. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing great. And how are you, too? Yeah, it's a little bit cold here, yeah, but, um, you know, just just arrived. So you, you're still transiting from the 32 degrees Fahrenheit, I mean, centigrade, to about less than 12 here. Yeah, so. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's okay. huge. So you've got to stay indoor more. Okay, let's 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 get the conversation started now. Um, right. I don't know what the feel is like in PDP when you have a zone that is well populated by your party, saying that uh, that the party has been quite unfair to them, and if they do not zone the presidency to them. They may as well pack their bags and go to the ruling APC. What's your immediate reaction when you read such a report? I was uh, very disturbed. Uh, Umahi will remember, let him recall, when he was going to contest for the post of governorship. Um, he came around. There were a bit of competitions and all that. And um, I, I assisted as humanly possible to make sure that his emergence was seamless. And um, so, but I want to take everybody back to the zoning concept of our party. You see, it's only the presidential ticket that is never micro-zoned. And I will remind him when in 1999 when the presidency was zoned to the south uh, the late old man Papa uh, Ekweme contested against uh, President of Basanjo, you should remember that. So, in our zoning concept, the presidency is never zoned to one particular area. It is zoned either to the north or to the south. And anybody in the north or the south, once it's zoned to your area, you can contest. The only positions that are never micro -zoned, that are never uh, uh, zoned to north or south, uh, the position of the chairmanship of the party, that has to be micro-zoned for purposes of equity. 
And um, you see, the position of the presidency, once it comes to the south, it can go to all the three zones in the south. And if it is zoned to the north, it can go to any uh, position, any zone in the north depending on their competition, their qualities, and their... Uh, I know, as a matter of fact, because the Southwest has held it, the South-South also held it, but not fully. And then the Southeast hasn't held it. Um, I would appeal to my young brother that uh, this is not the time to start uh, giving conditionalities to the party. The party is going through, uh, not, not only our party, the nation is going through some cloud of uncertainties. And the time to be calm, the time to be patient is now. The most important issue on our plate now is the issue of restructuring. And what do I okay. mean by that? Once the system of governance is restructured, where there is devolution of power to the states, that the states will manage all their resources optimally. And whatever you will now decide, whether 30%, 35% of your resources can be now forwarded to sustain the national unlike what we do now. 100% of your resources are sent okay. to the national and is now redistributed back. Okay, Those Chief. are the areas Chief. of major concern to us. I, I will so try I my will best. Tell my brother. I, I will try uh, my best to bring back the discourse on uh, restructuring. But let's, let's still right. look at... Uh, yeah, it's all part of what I... You know, I, you have to link it up with what... I agree. Uh, uh, the reasons why Omai is saying... I'm just trying to disabuse his mind. Okay. It is, it, it is it, it, well, 2023, two, two, three years from now. But the most important, the most cardinal point now, is he telling us he's happy with the system of governance we are running? Everybody is saying that okay. it's not working. Chief, what I meant okay. is, I, I totally agree with you that it's, 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 it has a correlation. And I promise that we'll come back to clean up the discussion. But I want to look at um, probably some of the signals the likes of Umayi had seen. And we also understand that uh, some other Southeast governors may also be nursing this plan to move to APC, including, according to report, including the Anambra State Governor. But let's look at some of the issues they may be considering. For now, PDP seems to be, as we speak, there is Chief Bode George who has signals the interest of vying for 2023, which is from Southwest. There is signal, I, I, will, I will allow you to respond. There is signal from, it has been said that Atiku may as well come back to fight for the ticket. And Southeast is waiting to say that we have paid our dues. We shouldn't have these, you know, political giants come to the stage again. No, my, my plea is this. And to start with, I will use our local parlance. In Yoruba land, we say, dear, dear. <laughs> huh? In Igbo language, they say, wayo, wayo. <laughs> In Hausa, they say, kadan, kadan. Don't jump the ship hmm. because you fall into water. Just make sure there is always a process, there will be a discussion by the elders, by all the organs, and at the next meeting, a decision will be taken how this zoning will be. Whether it will remain in the north or it will remain in the south, depending on so many parameters. But to start, I, I consider this issue right now to say, that all our good boys, our good governors, our good people would like to deflect, defect to APC. For God's sake, is APC comparable to PDP? Hmm. Is that the, e, 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 their foundation? You can see that their party is wobbling. Their platform is wobbling. 
And how can you jump from frying pan to fire? And he, he, he's not being taken well with a lot of people. Is it a threat? Or uh, are you really thinking of moving? A boy is a 100% PDP. Don't divide the house. Don't let us get divided. And what is the assurance that you have? You say, yes, they have promised you. Let them make the announcement. Nobody has made the announcement that, oh, we are, we are, we are going to zone the uh, 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 presidency in APC to the Southeast. So please, my brother, I would advise him to take it easy, be patient. The patient dog is the father's bone. And patience has a lot of reward. Surulere. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, it is not the time. There could be a lot of underground discussions and uh, uh, diplomatic moves and all that. For now, what is the major issue on the national plate is that the system we are running is not working. So it's not a matter of you vying for presidency or vying for vice presidency. Or, no. Let's revisit how we are managing ourselves. Things are not going well. And you have to deceive yourself to think that all is well and all we should be talking okay. about now is just rezone it and we go and run the same system. Okay. It is collapsing. Okay. Every I, part I, of this great country is, I hear is, you. is, 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 is not well. I hear you clearly, Chief. I, I totally agree with you that we need a functional system. But in politics, and I'm sure I, I stand to be corrected. Uh, you are a veteran in politics. I stand to be corrected that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, the Southeast will also be looking at it that if restructuring is not done, the 2014 National Conference, which we're part of, um, our recommendations are not adopted. The lawmakers probably are not even looking at it. And the president, the current president, has said that is gathering dust. So why shouldn't they also have a plan B to say that if the current system works, 2023 is not actually far away? You know, if the I'm still telling you, the president and his team, if they are really serious and committed to that nation called Nigeria, I am a proud Nigerian. I want justice. I want fairness. I want equity. And there must be, be fairness under the law. The way it is being managed now is completely military in its structure. So the report of 2014 conference must be brought out, looked at, rather than being kept in the, in the drawers. Because I attended it, I listened to the discussions, we, the, we, we submitted the report, the report was debated by the Federal Executive Council then. It's now only to go to the National Assembly and let them look at it. But for us to think we will go back and keep running the system we are running, look at what is happening now. Look at the amount of money we are borrowing. And where are the, 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 the assets that you, you can have returns on the investment to pay back the loan? So you know we 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 are we are we are putting the cart before the horse. Okay. I am saying that we still have enough time. It is not hanging. Yes, you have a plan B. What is that plan B going to give you? You will end 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 up running the same exactly. system that is not working. Okay. For Let's... God's sake, it is not working. I and, I and 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 you look at the recklessness all over the place. If it if it is devolution or restructuring, devolve power from the center, let it go to the states. Okay, Chief. State. Chief, I, 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 I like to have a bit of uh, uh, um, a kind of debate with you on this issue that you yeah. just raised. Because um, APC will be quick if we have them in this panel. They will be quick to remind you that what about the 16 years? Why didn't you restructure Nigeria and uh, people will also, I remember one of the arguments from APC is that President Jonathan was only discussing this issue of national conference as a bait to get re-elected. So, but he yeah. has left the scene. I, I'm oh. talking about the argument from oh. them. So he has left the scene. So I'm looking at 
No, Kadi, okay. if we, let, us, let us be frank with ourselves. I'm 75 years old now. I had, I had been, I was a young man in, when we got independence. We ran a completely parliamentary system, a true federal system. The military came, unitarized the system. We have been going up and down. The, the, all the constitution we had had were all designed by the military in the format of a military organization. I'm sure you're part of that now, military, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was also in the military. So okay. I, but when you look back, what, I, what else do I want to do? What, what position am I running for? Maximum, I cannot live for another 25 years. But my nation will live forever. The younger generations are there. What do we want to hand over to them? You know, the population is busting at the seams. And we are saying the system we are running, where once you become uh, at, at that level, all resources are controlled by the national, and then they are redistributed based on local government, population, and this. Those, those things are not working. Look, take, we copy the American system. Take the state of California, which is the, the, the fifth largest economy in the world. It is a state. Under the United States, you have a state like Maine, the smaller state. Everybody has one resource or the other to cushion them. You know, so what, what, what we have been discussing that is coming is that let us revisit the way we are being governed. Okay. We have existed from 1914. We got our independence in 1960. 1960 to now, you know how many years we have existed, and you are saying that this this system, we just revisit it. There's no fixation about it. When you revisit it, it, it you you are trying to correct okay. the, the, the imbalance. You are trying to correct what 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 the injustice in positions in the distribution of the resources for the benefit of the people. Take for, for example the police. We have a policing system that is being run from one spot. They can be the federal police equivalent to the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation in America. Okay. We need state police because policing is, 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 is really communal. It's community-based. No, see how many police we have? 400,000 to 200 billion people. Okay. It is not working. And then at the end of it, what is happening in Zamfara? Zamfara has a lot, a large amount of gold. Okay. Okay, Chief. L l um, I, 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 you, you've actually forced us to say that let's put the card before the all. So whichever we, we must have restructuring before we think of the next election. That, I, I, that's what I'm saying. That's what uh, I, 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 I want to agree with you. About, For the purpose of we, this we, discussion. We, 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 we the caveat that yes, if we are going to go, because at that time, if you restructure, whoever becomes the governor becomes more powerful in the state, and then the states and the people, the governor himself knows that those people will not leave him alone. If things are not working, they live in the same state. I agree. The state the assembly is there. Just the for governor you, lives there. Chief. If they don't, if he doesn't do well, they will, they will, they, they will hold him fully responsible. Just for you to know that uh, I totally in sync with what you're saying. Now, uh, we still made reference to um, the just concluded uh, presidential election in America, where we saw real mm. federalism at work. We saw states, you know, Absolutely. taking charge. But for the Igbos, I, I, I want to bring it yes. back again. I, and, and let me put it this way. Having done that, let's hope that this will be listened to. We have a functional system. There, are, there is this debate, and I want your intervention on this, that in 1999, yeah. as much as uh, it was the two major parties had some candidates from Southwest, that we still had mm -hmm. someone from Southeast contested against uh, Olusha Gwambasoja then. So what is different this time around that the Igbos should... Um, they, probably they are also not saying that there shouldn't be contestants from other parties, 
But how can they have that kind of confidence that every part of Nigeria reposed on Olusha Gombasojo or Olufalai? Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. And that's why I am saying the, com the comments I read in the papers huh, frightened me. When you are in this game, and he's been in the party since its, in in its inception, you need to network. You need to campaign. You need to, 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 to convince the people. You know, this is not a military by fiat. This is not governance by fiat. You got to be able to sell your, your, your ideas, to sell the need, to convince the other people to say, well, you know, on, on this equation of this zoning, it is appropriate that you should go to the southeast. But when you start by saying that, oh, I'm going to leave this party to go to that party, are you still not uh, talking to the electorate? I know if we want to be just and fair, in the whole South, it is the Southeast that has not uh, uh, been able to get that position, the highest position in the land. So rightly, they have a right to, to get it. But you must, you must go through the rigors of convincing the other people with uh, not through fiat by saying, if you don't give me, the other side has promised me, what? Promise you in politics, 24 <laughs> hours in politics is a very long time. Mm. And don't get deceived. My brother, don't get deceived. Mm. <laughs> it should, like I said, Kadankara, why you, why you? Dear, dear. Musuru, <laughs> if you don't do that, you get into a web and you go into a hole. Let him not threat that if you don't do this, the house you had built since 1999, a, a party that is a, a congregation of string bedfellows, they haven't even evolved any culture. You have been in a party that is, that is structured, that has records, that is so deep-rooted, and then you want to jump from that because somebody promised you that is not written agreement? Haven't you seen so many of such agreements in the past? When the, when the, the H hour comes, you'll be disappointed. And let him lead their people quietly. Let us look at it. He is a very solid member of our party. Like they have also so many of the governors in the Southeast. So lobby for it. Convince the others. Okay. But don't use the word if you don't, I will go to the other party. Okay. The other party, too. They have people who are angling for the same position. Chief Body Judge. So there's no guarantee. Chief Body Judge, apart from the promise, uh, apart from the promise, there is also this debate out there. And that uh, yeah. despite the fact that APC is not as popular as PDP in Southeast, some of the mm -hmm. things that this current government seems to have done for the Southeast. Out, uh, 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 surpasses PDP during the time of stay. A clear example they will refer to is the Second Niger yes. Bridge. Another example they will refer to is that there is no state across Nigeria, including Southeast, where infrastructure you know, development is not ongoing. Have you also looked at the way the party, the ruling party, is wooing the Southeast? Shouldn't that give you a source of concern? No, yeah, that, that, look, I, I don't want to get myself involved in whatever that party is doing, the APC. You remember the way they were treated, they treated the East. We didn't like it. At Abinisho, what is the what is the best ministry that was given to the East? What was the, what, what what the the, the the gentleman from Imo, I've forgotten his name, Minister of some uh, is it man manufacturing or some, some kind of... But eh, what I am saying is Science that and technology. once we restructure, once we restructure, look at the state of Lagos. What, what have we benefited from APC in the whole of Southwest? What have we benefited? Take even the North Central. 
take even the northwest, all the noise, the, the same anger from the minds of the younger generation, the educated ones, they are, they are also crying of lack of employment, lack of feeding, lack of accommodation, and that life in its totality is not helping them. Then compare them with the Northeast, where the Boko Haram had been a, 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 an impossible thing to handle. So it, it, it is not only the Southeast, you know, the whole, the whole place needs uh, some quiet. Okay. We are not, we, okay, compounded now with the coronavirus. We are lucky that the thing has not blown out of uh, proportion. And, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it as if, hey, yes, a guy is there. But what, what is going on? Who is listening? Who is doing what? Who is doing that? Take, for example, those young men who were uh, exercising their, 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 their rights to hear their voices. What they said, was it wrong? Okay. Nobody has taken that. I'm told now that they are being hounded. They want to put them. Some, some people are saying, oh, these boys are trying to take over government. Take over government. We okay. what? With bare hands, okay, they, Chief. They should tarry a while. Like you know, I know there is uh, this international tension all over the place because of the COVID. No job, no this, no that. Okay. But let us seal those who are mindlessly stealing the money of the public. Okay. Block the holes. So Thank you so much, Chief Balabadi George. The 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 the, the, the hungry and allow our young people, the children of the poor, to go to free primary education and secondary school with a meal per day. Lagos State can afford that. Okay. And, and I'm sure... Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, our time is fast spent. Thank you so much, Chief Olabode Judge, a member of the PDP Board of Trustees, for your intervention. Thank you for your insights. My pleasure always. Yeah. See you soon when uh, everything dies down. We hope to have you live in our studio in one of these days. Thank you so much. I'll be too happy to be there. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, uh, we will take a short break. And when we return, the PDP caucus of the House of Representatives asked the federal government to use the rule of law in dealing with NSAS protests. We'll be right back after this break.